Hey guys, in this short video I'm going to show you the syntax um, to use when you want sage math to solve systems of equations for you. So uh, in the video by Greg Bard, he solved a quadratic equation, something along the lines of this, like that, hit evaluate, and sage would tell you the solution to that quadratic equation, x squared plus x plus 1. Uh, the solution, there are two parts of course, because it's a quadratic equation, it should have two solutions. Um, the real part is negative one half and the imaginary part is shown here um, that I means that thing is imaginary. Okay so that's solving a single equation. I want to show you a couple of tips to um, that you can use to make your program a little bit more straightforward, a little easier to read and also make things easier when we move on to systems of equations. So Sage um, is very good at manipulating uh, functions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to define um, an equation to be this by using the following syntax. So this says uh, the double equal sign is a mathematical equality. It says take a variable, square it, add a variable again, add one, you should get zero mathematically. This equal sign says every time, Sage, every time you see EQ, replace EQ with this expression. So that means that I can go down here now and I can type EQ into this solver, hit evaluate, and Sage should give me the exact same answer, which it does. Okay, so that's a nice way of breaking up your code a little bit to make it a little bit more clear what you're doing. Um, the last thing we have to say before going on to multiple variable equations is that Sage knows that x is a variable. It knows that x does not take a specific value and when it shows in, in expressions like this, Sage knows what to do. But on the other hand, you don't always want to use x or sometimes you want to use more variables besides x, so you need a way to tell Sage that this thing is a variable. And the way you do that is with the command var. So let's say that instead of using x, I want to use t. But I wanted to tell Sage that t is a variable, so that means I would write t equals var and then in quotes t. So that's telling Sage that there is a variable, I'm going to call it t and you should call it t as well. And now I can go down here and I can change these, uh, these x's to t's, evaluate again and Sage should spit out the correct answer again. Okay, cool, so this is defining our variables, defining the equation to be solved, and defining the solution algorithm. So let's go on to doing um, a multivariable system. So I want one equation, and I'm just going to pick something a little bit random, like uh, x minus y equals 1, let's say. And then my second equation, eq2, is x plus y equals 3. So again, remember that this equality is a mathematical equality. Some variable x minus some variable y equals 1, some variable x plus some variable y equals 3. But Sage doesn't know about the variable y yet. So I need to go up here and say, okay, Sage, y is a variable. Now, of course, if I wanted to be complete, I could even say something like x, y, and put x and y in this equation, this line. But that's a little bit redundant because Sage already knows that x is a variable. But maybe if I want to be clear for my own purposes, I can do that. Okay, cool. So there's my two expressions. I want to put them into my solution algorithm like that, but we need a way to say to Sage, you're doing a system of equations. There's more than one equation in there. And the way you do that is surround the equations with brackets. So put two brackets around the set of equations, eq1 and eq2. Um, you have to tell Sage which variables you're solving for, in this case x, y. Hit evaluate and it should spit out the answer. And of course it's got a solution for x and y because this is a system in x and y. You can check two 2 minus 1, 1, 2 plus 1, 3. So that is a correct solution to this system of equations. So this is going to be very useful for us in physics because, of course, we want to be able to solve equations and systems of equations. And sometimes the solution to those systems is going to be um, just an algorithmic process. There's not going to be any physical insight or we're not going to learn anything new about the universe by doing that algorithmic solution. Sage is really good for that kind of thing. Of course, sometimes we want to see what the process is um, of getting a solution out because we can learn something more about the system but if it's just going to be a simple algorithmic solution of like a 4 by 4 matrix or something Sage is a very um, a good tool to be able to get that solution without spending a huge amount of effort doing it. Okay great so thanks very much for watching the video and I will see you guys in class.